something brewing takes us to Danielson. This building might look familiar to you as it was once home to a very popular brewery. Well, now the Burroughs Brewing Company has taken over. They're not open just yet, but we're going to find out when. Josh Bork joining us now. He is the co-owner of the Burroughs Brewing Company. Nice to be here. Yeah, thanks for nice coming Nice to up. meet you guys. So um, we're going to bring in your partner in Fantastic. a little bit. Yeah, but um, you are both from this area. Yeah, yeah, definitely did our growing up here. Yeah, awesome. And that's kind of where the name comes from, right? Yep, yep. So talk a little bit about why this spot. Uh, so once we decided we wanted to open a brewery, um, of course we wanted to stay right along Main Street mm -hmm. and uh, try to make it a little bit busier. And it turns out that a couple of the properties we were looking at just weren't going to work out. Um, and then Mike Teed from Black Pond, uh, they had decided that they were going to expand and he came to us and told us, hey, you should take over this spot, it's mm -hmm. already a brewery. Yeah. And uh, it just seemed to be the perfect thing to do and uh, saved us a bunch of money and gave us the opportunity to stop looking for a place and practice more of the brewing. Mm -hmm. So you've made it, you're making it your own, I yes. should say. So you're not open yet. Obviously, we're kind of in a little bit of a construction zone. So maybe what's the feel going to be like here? Uh, so if anyone's been in here before we did some of these uh, renovations, mm -hmm. it was, I don't want to use the word basement to make it seem bad, but it was like going to your friend's house and mm -hmm. having a drink in their basement bar. It was really comfy, really cozy. Um, of course, we want to establish our own identity, so we decided let's bring in a bunch of color and uh, try to brighten up the space, have a bunch of contrast, and yeah, just change the entire look of the place. So any idea on a timeline? I know co sometimes construction can move slower than you want, right? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> in terms of doing the renovations, that's actually going pretty quickly. Good. Um, I'm here every day after work until usually around midnight, um, just trying to get something done to make progress because every little bit that we do just makes me happier and happier and happier. And uh, so it shouldn't be too long. Um, I'm thinking if we can get the ceiling done soon enough, maybe we'll be ready to go by mid-March. Greg Ledegar joining us now. He's going to talk about the beer part of this. Indeed. <laughs> how are you? Good, how about you? Good. So um, you're going to brew here, obviously. Right. How much, you think? Uh, so our system is three and a half barrels. Um, so, I mean, it all depends on what production looks like. But, I mean, if we could do a couple times a week, it would be great. Mm -hmm. You do have a red ale yep. that we want to talk about today. That's in Absolutely. the tank. Yep, it is. What is your hope for that? How is that going to turn out? So it's just, it's a nice light red ale. Uh, we're both huge fans of red ales. Um, nice and uh, sweet, a little bit of malty, kind of light. It's 4.2%, so okay. you can have a few of them and be okay. So very easy drinking, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've actually won awards with this beer mm -hmm. as home brewers, so we wanted to bring it into the portfolio. Yeah, and your background for both of you, both home brewed. For, yep. for how long? So I've been home brewing for over seven years um, and just one random weekend I brought Josh into the fold um, about five years ago and uh, we just kind of fell in love with it and started entering into awards or competitions all throughout mm -hmm. New England uh, and we were batting over 500. That's great. Yeah. And then you decided, hey, we're going to open up a brewery. Yeah, it seemed right. <laughs> yeah. And so once you do open, um, which might be soon, right. how many beers do you think you're going to have on tap? So we're shooting for eight to ten beers on tap. Wow. Um, so our, our beer tower is good for, for ten beers. So if we can get eight of ours and a couple of guest taps from around the state, that'd be great. If we can do ten all of our own, even better. So Greg mentioned possibly eight beers on draft when you open. Any idea what kind of variety you're going to have? Yeah, uh, so of course we'll have the popular IPAs, which mm -hmm. everyone loves. Okay. Um, some milk stouts, a sour, and uh, a red ale. And one of my favorite beers, we do a Saison called Cornucopia. Mm -hmm. And it uh, gives it like a little twinge of bubble gum, and it's, it's kind Ooh. of fun for a beer. Exciting. Yeah. All right, so you better call me when you, just before you open so we can come right. back. For sure. <laughs> All right, well, cheers, guys. Yes. Something's brewing here in Danielson. Thanks. Cheers.